Hello! Today we'll look to our kinematic body. A kinematic body can be really useful to make a player character. We will see some different ways to use our kinematic body. First, let's make some space. So, as we already know, the kinematic body doesn't move by itself through physics like happens with our rigid body. But how can we move it then? We can move it through script. So, let's create a script on our kinematic body to control his behavior. We have two different functions that are called by Godot as game loops. These functions are process that we have seen on the last videos that is called so much as possible and physics process that's very similar but it's called inside the physics loop. They are very similar and sometimes both of them would work fine for your purpose but in this video we will use physics process. First we will make our kinematic body test for a top-down game. So let's create a function and add a variable to control our direction. Let's see how our directionals are configured. Ok, everything is alright. Now we catch the movement directions. Let's create a variable to keep our directions value. Now, just copy and adjust the values to the other directions. And we use this movement slide function to apply the movement to the body. We need to change the type of this direction variable to vector2 because that is what the movement slide function uses. Now our game is running and we can see that our kinematic body is moving in all directions, like we configured it. But I made a mistake here and we will fix it now. The values to move the object up or down are switched. But we could change the movement of our body too. At the moment, the body will keep moving at the last pressed direction. Let's change that. So, now, if no key is being pressed, the direction is changed to zero. But we have an error here. As we have seen before, our movement slide function needs a vector 2D. Let's pass that. And this special vector 2D 
is the same as a vector 2D with the values x and y set to 0. And now, our body just moves when we press a key. We can look to the specifications of a function directly pressing CTRL and then clicking at the function. So it will open the documentation and we can look the information about this or any other function. And so we finish our 2D top-down example with kinematic body. Now we will start our example of a platform with the kinematic body. First, let's remove this movement to the top and to the bottom. Ok, now we can just move to the left and to the right. Now we will add a value to the y-axis to simulate gravity. Ok, we have a nice effect here, but it's not what we want. Let's go back to fix it. Ok, this is causing our problem. We are setting our y axis to 0 here, annulling our gravity effect. Let's just set our x axis to 0. And now it is working as expected. Now, we create our jump action. Ok, our jump is working, but it has no limitations at the moment. We can jump so much as we want, on the ground or in the air. Let's change that, so that we just can jump if the body is on the ground. And let's make the jump a bit stronger too. To just allow our body to jump when on the ground, we can use this special function called is on floor. This special function just works with move and slide, and is set by it, and because of that we have to make some adjusts to make them work together. The first adjust is in form on move and slide, where is the top side of our scene. We make that in forming a vector on the second parameter of move and slide. To inform that our top is the top of the scene, we inform a vector 2D with a negative y-axis. This is correct and could be done this way, but to organize our code and to show how we can create constants, we will define an up constant and put it here. A constant is like a variable, but it cannot be changed.
Now we will separate our y-axis logic from the x-axis logic to make it easier to read and to understand our code. And now, to finish, we need to put our move and slide above the is on floor function because the value of is on floor is set by move and slide. And so, now we can see our kinematic body walking and jumping like a character. And as a bonus, to finish, we will see how we can set variables to be changed on our visual editor outside the script. We just need to use the export keyword to create the variable and it will become a part of the visual configuration of the object. And now we can change our gravity variable directly here. And so we finish this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribe. As a new channel, this is a really huge help. Thanks for watching.